I have to gather myself after Rose speaking because uh, that's really quite new for me hearing about Cliff. Um, I stepped into Cliff's shoes as the secretary of our branch um, after uh, his passing last year and uh, I'm, I'm proud to have uh, worked with Cliff and proud to have taken over from him. Um, at uh, UCU Congress this year, one of the uh, themes both inside the conference hall and outside the conference hall was the victimisation of union reps. It seems to be an issue which is gathering pace, it's getting worse um, and one of the people who wrote to us this week um, from Australia told me that uh, you know, the same thing is happening there. So uh, this uh, has an international as well as a national dimension to it. Um, and I would actually like to thank all the people who have signed the letter that um, uh, we've sent to the, uh, or that Mandy Brown has sent to the uh, Times Higher for publication this Thursday. Um, we are still taking signatures. Uh, we will publish an updated version on our blog site. So uh, please, uh, if you want to add your name to that list, uh, do so. Um, uh, the people who are being victimised up and down the country, sometimes, of course, it's very hard to actually prove that you are being victimised particularly if you're being caught up in a wider sweep of redundancies. But at London Metropolitan University, they've handled it with their typical unbelievable incompetence. So, uh, as was uh, mentioned by Richard earlier, uh, the Dean of our faculty, Professor Dominic Palmer-Brown, produced absolutely no written evidence whatsoever at our appeal hearings. Um, there is no audit trail of the process of decision making that led to our redundancies. Uh, the list of issues that we put on the table would be far too long to list here. We'd be here all afternoon. Um, but I would point out uh, that essentially they didn't even tell us what criteria we were being measured against. Uh, you know, the feedback that we got afterwards was so perfunctory as to be insulting. Uh, the appeal hearing itself, I have to say, the one that I attended, was in its way actually quite enjoyable because the Dean of the Faculty cut a really pitiful figure, alternately blustering, bad-tempered, petulant. <laughs> it was really quite entertaining to watch. But nonetheless, I feel that you know, the decision probably had already been made, but Mark and myself are too loud a voice within this institution to be allowed to continue here, particularly at the point where they are now trying to get rid of another 395 members of staff. Um, I've lost count of the number of rounds of redundancies that we've been through. Um, Mark will probably correct me, but I believe this is probably about the 14th round of redundancies in the last 10 years. And everything points towards this university essentially being made to fail in order that it can be privatised. Uh, Rose referred to the new chair of our Board of Governors, uh, a guy called Mark Anderson, who this year was promoted to the position of a Vice President for Global Growth at Pearson's. Uh, he's been at Pearson's for a long time, um, he's uh, been in their education division, so he knows all about the uh, provision of private education around the globe. And if you go onto Google and type in Pearson Education Controversy, you will get a long list of the terrible stories from America and other places about what Pearson Education are actually doing. Uh, this will be the beginning of the destruction of public university education in the United Kingdom. And it has got to stop. We have to stop it. And it must start now. It must start here. We must stop it happening across the country. Uh, that's all I'd like to say. For, oh, oh, actually, no, before I forget, um, a couple of other things. Uh, thanks, of course, for coming along. A, little, a reminder that we are actually in Jeremy Corbyn's constituency. And uh, we know, of course, that he's got a lot of things on his uh, mind at the moment. But uh, we've been very supportive of him because he has been so supportive of us over the years. Uh, and also the Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell has um, recently spoken very much in support of the staff here at London Met, including Mark and myself and everyone who is under threat. So we want to uh, provide our thanks to them. Uh, the 23rd of July there will be a national demonstration here at Holloway Road 11.30 in the morning we're going to gather and at about midday we'll be heading down to Highbury Field which is uh, down 
that way. Uh, it's not very far to go, um, and there will be a rally in uh, in Highbury Fields. So please spread the uh, word out as far and wide as you can, and we'll see you there on the 23rd. Solidarity, everyone. Yay.